Shalom, giving all praise and uh, glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Kakadash, the Avalana City Apostles, Elders, and Brothers on Don, our great millstone, where I learned this truth from, and salutations to the hopeful elect. This is your brother, Rai Banyamian, here to share another lesson. This one will be called, If You Don't Make a Choice, One Will Be Made For You. If You Don't Make a Choice, One Will Be Made For You. Um, this is a quick lesson on the fly, man. Um, I was watching this uh, video by the brother reading the, the dollar. And um, he did a, a short video on, um, you know, the, the choices that that um, we have to make coming down um, the road. You know, um, which the apostles and, and elders and brothers have been teaching for many years. You know what I'm saying? The way the world is going, you can't just, you know, go to work, you know, do you you know, buy a house, buy a car, you know, have a family, try to raise, you know, children, you know, and um, escape the the decisions, you know, and the calamity to come, especially with the electronic um, monetary system that is being put into place. And then with the MOTB to the CHIP that is um, coming down the line in order for you to live here or to have some type of um uh commerce and stuff going on you're gonna have to take that chip you know what i'm saying so the you see the, the the thing is you know like he was getting into you know which like i said the elders and brothers and don't have been um teaching you're really gonna have to make a choice this is not something that you know you could live off in the woods and you know, everybody else is going to make a decision, but you won't have to. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is why, you know, we need to, you know, repent, man, and, you know, know the true names of our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai, right? So that, you know, we have a chance against these things because what is coming down the road um, is going to be. You know really uh heavy and it's gonna cause a lot of people to bug out you know what i mean but before i play the video i want to share um, a few scriptures real quick uh first scriptures in uh the book of ezekiel the third chapter and we'll read from the 17th verse uh all the way down to verse 21. now this is a warning um right from the apostles and elders and brothers on down. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So, the apostles, the elders and brothers, they have been warning people for many years. You know what I mean? This is not something that, uh, you know, you could sidestep, you know, and do your own thing in a corner. While everybody else is being uh, tested and tried, everybody would be tested and tried. But the emphasis would be on Jacob, right? The children of Israel, um, poor, you know, Jacob's trouble. Verse 18, it says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same man shall die in his, in his iniquity, but his blood will I require a dying hand. Alright, so, you know, we have to warn. If we don't warn them, their blood would be upon our hands. So the apostles, elders, and brothers on down have been warning people for many years. So the blood is off their, um, their hands and they are still doing it to this day, you know, fervently. Right? Verse 19 it says, yet if I, Salakia, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Right? The blood is off your hand. You know, you, you know, you send a warning out and he, he ain't receive it. You know what I mean? Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, 
and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he had done, shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thine hand. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you want a righteous man, he, you know, he don't, you know, take heed, you know, you know, the blood is on your hand. But if you take heed of it, he'll be saved. I think that's what it was saying in verse 21. Uh, verse 21 says, Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not and do it, and he do it not sin, and shall surely live, he shall surely live, Salakia, because he is warned. Also, thou hast delivered thy soul. So this is what the apostles uh, and elders and brothers one don't have been doing. Um, put the command of Jehovah Bashim Yahushai. Alright. So you have to take heed, man. Um, everybody will have to make a choice. Whether you make a choice on the right hand side, you know, you obey the most high and you are saved. Or you make a choice on the left hand side. All right, and you perish and die. Ultimately, it is the Most High um, in control of everything. Right, we do not have um, uh, free will. But this is coming down for everybody, man. Uh, next portion of scripture would be in Matthew chapter twelve, verse thirty. Uh, he that is not with me is against me and he that gathereth not he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad you understand so if you're not you know working with the Mosa, you're not obeying the lord his laws commandments and statutes you know you're pretty much an enemy to him and we don't want to be you know an enemy um towards the most high right so we want to be repenting you know Teaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, if that is, you know, our lot, you know what I'm saying? You know, try to, you know, put the word out there so the hopefully I like, could hear it and uh, and also repent, you know, you keep the, the Sabbath and the high holy days um, as well, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is the, the real decision maker uh, here in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right, verse 16 and 17 says, And he calls it all. Or it says, he calls it all. all right, so when this uh, CHIP is uh, presented, it will be to every man high in society and low in society and stature. So you won't be able to hide or somewhere with, um, you know, groceries and, you know, bunker and do your own thing while everybody else is faced with um, this decision, right? So when I read the scripture here, I pray and I hope that the message that the you know the the guy reading the dollar is um talking about that you could um hint back to this version of scripture, Revelation thirteen, sixteen and seventeen as you watch the video. It says, And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Alright, so this decision is coming down for everybody. Uh, Lord willing, you verify again. The page is uh, retain the dollar. Uh, video title, The Merge. The Merge, a turning point for humanity. Your fight against evil. Shalom. We've reached a turning point for humanity. And no matter what, there's no fit now. You will choose a side. Let's talk about this. Okay, I want to take a quick minute to uh, share my thoughts uh, in reference to a comment left in the uh, comment section on the channel. And so once again, I want to have a real talk, heart to heart. Let's leave out religion. Let's just leave that alone. Let's talk facts. Let's talk evidence. Let's talk what's happening in the real world. 
So basically, as I mentioned, a turning point for humanity. And what do I mean by that? Regardless of your viewpoints, regardless of your spiritual beliefs, whatever religion you might want to try to use, it doesn't really matter. Because if you look at the evidence that's been put before us, there's a growing movement of one particular set of beliefs, ideology, philosophies that appears to be creeping out of the closet and it's becoming mainstream and at some point it has to bother you because that is a decision being made whether you want it to or not. It's just being thrust into our face and it has to do with Satanism. And so once again on the screen here, I'm putting up all types of articles in reference to the word Satanism or Baphomism being used in mainstream news today. And so you might say, Mike, you know, keep religion out of this. You can't keep religion out of this when it's being thrust into your faith. Just the fact that Satanism is a form of doctrine. It's a form of way of life for some. It's the prevailing narrative for this world and this kingdom that we're all in. So you can't ex actually exclude religion in its entirety. But yeah, for the sake of this conversation here, we can just nail it down to two simple concepts. Good versus evil. And so I put together some visual aids and I want to bring it to your attention just to highlight how whether or not I talk about religion or evil or good or whatever, it's going to be thrust down your throat no matter what. Now it's a matter of, you know, what side are you on? And so some people might say, hey, I don't have a dog in this fight. It don't really matter to me. But that is not true. Let me show you why that should matter, because no matter what, at the end of the day, the way the world views you, you are the dog that are, that's in this fight. In a sense. But so here's the first visual I want to put on the screen here. Uh, as you guys can see here, we have a globe. We have a we have the world, the governing structure that we live in. You don't have a choice. You're going to participate in either one of these sides. So if you go to the far left, you have the evil side. That's one of the signs that's showing up everywhere in the mainstream news nowadays. And a lot of this stuff is not necessarily about you. It's more so about the next generation. So if you're a parent such as myself, then you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much about my own personal preferences and my, what my likes, my comforts. No, it's about the indoctrination that's for the next generation that will grow up in an even more godless and immoral society. And so... This visual right here gives you an idea as to what's going on. Most people want to straddle the fence. They want to keep it neutral. They don't want to go left. They don't want to go right. They don't want to be hot. They don't want to be cold. They just want to live their life right up the middle. But that has been taken away from you. And I'm going to show you why and how that's become the reality. So you, you can't avoid these things. You will make a choice whether you'll serve good or evil in the days ahead just by sheer circumstances that you're going to be put in. And so just this visual right here is the very first one. As you guys can see here, we have to the far left, a Satanism sign. That's just a, a part of the uh, extreme left, the radical left, you know, so we have a lot of people in the high political realm that actually participate in stuff like that. We have Claw Swab, who wears his little outfit when he's not, you know, out front of governments trying to, you know, coerce, you know, world leaders to follow his agenda. We have the Davos, the Bilderberg, we got pedophilia, we got, you know, human trafficking, we got uh, any forms of evil, you name it, it has to come from somewhere. So you don't necessarily have to be a religious person to acknowledge evil, do you? You know, ho hopefully not. But then counter to that, there has to be good in this world as well. And that's the part where people like to Nick pick and say, hey, I I'll keep that to myself. I'm not going to share that. But the fruit from your tree speaks for itself. So no matter how you like to either keep it to yourself or let the world see it, people who know you actually see your fruit why because it's evident you know it, it's your, your true religion is your, your belief system your walk your talk and all the things that come from that that is your true religion if you want to use that and it is good or either it's bad you know but everybody has their own walk but then again i want to get to the my second point two years ago there was a defining moment for humanity and this is how i say this is the transformation of humanity because whether we wanted to or not whether we were on the good side the bad side it didn't matter it was chosen for us and it happened when the world was locked down and the idea of this you know health situation was thrust our way and everybody at that current moment put in a position where they had to comply there was no choice you didn't say i didn't have a dog in this fight it doesn't really matter whatever well, regardless of what country you're in, for the first 15 days of slowing the spread up until this current moment, everybody has made adjustments. And the adjustment that was made was put together by the same entity that's furthering this agenda 
of evil. And so you have to be able to acknowledge that what the what's happened to the world, whether it happened naturally or not, I'll let you, let you determine that it was done without your permission. So therefore, you are thrust into this fight of trying to decipher between truth and a lie. And so to piggyback even more, we have so much stuff thrown at us over the last few years. And so the, the crossroads or the defining moment has been the introduction of the Great Reset. The Great Reset in of itself has automatically shifted us to where there has been a, been a crossing of good versus evil. And so no matter what, moving forward, you are in this fight. You are the dog that's in this fight. Now it's a matter of being willing to, I guess, swallow your pride and admit. Even if you're not at the point where you're ready to determine the true source of who you are and where you come from, you have to acknowledge good and evil just because it's at work. And all the attributes of evil is at work right now you look at the way all the countries were shut down you look at the mandates you look at the decrees you look at the idea of people losing their jobs because they didn't participate like to me it was put forth as being something good but when you sit back and you look at it you know deep down within that that's evil because people should have a choice but a part of the great reset is the removal of your choice and no matter what your personal beliefs philosophy theology might be it's already underway right now and so the evil is at work in this world and the only thing that can counter evil is good at the core essence of this one of the things i want people to walk away from if you if you're watching the video at this point is don't let the word religion deter you from deciphering between good and evil because I think one of the biggest tricks that has been put on humanity is the fact that religion is so thou, thou shalt not, thou shalt, you know, all that stuff. And that's how it's being portrayed. But in my personal opinion, that's not relevant for today's age. Because as we're witnessing, we don't see nothing in the mainstream talking about thou shalt not and all that other stuff from a religious standpoint. They're just outright telling us what they want to do, what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. Especially with the UN and the WHO right now concocting an ultimate plan to further... <laughs> You know, take away your life and your ability to choose freely. But also on this last visual aid right here, as you guys can see here, this is the ultimate agenda of the enemy, of the evil one, of those that have chosen the dark side. And it's underway right now. It's in process. So as you guys can see, we have the crossing with the great reset agenda and everything that came from that. I'll let you guys figure out what that is by now. I'm sure you know. But moving forward from this time on, as you guys can see at the top of this visual aid here, we have a helix, an automatic merger. I call it the merger. Everything is merger. Everything now moving forward is intertwined. So if you thought you were out of this fight, you better ask somebody because as of now, what else does that helix look like? It looks like human DNA. And then when you talk about stuff like that, you get into some real evil, satanic type stuff. And then that takes us right into what? The fourth industrial revolution, which is a part of the enemy's plan, the evil one's plans. So if you ask me, the religious people or the people on the far left, the people who chose to worship the powers of darkness, they are the ones out here controlling the narrative as well as the agenda. And it looks like a lot of world governments might be in lock and step. Pause it um, right there for a second and um, read a script here. You know, what he was saying that, um, you know, we're pretty much locked into, um, you know, this fight, you know what I mean? So, you know, you know, we are at war, you know what I'm saying? I want to um, grab a script here real quick in the book of Romans. In chapter 3. And I'll read um, from verse 15. It says, their feet are swift to shed blood. Right, destruction and misery are in their ways, and the way of peace is not known. So, like here, and the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of the Most High before their eyes. You know what I'm saying? So, all these things that they are coming to pass, they don't, you know, care about you know obey the Lord's Lord's commandments and statutes. You know, what I mean, they could bring peace upon the earth, but it is not something that um they want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's not something they want to do. So, you know, the you know, like you said, um, you know, the since we are trusting to this fight and we are pretty much in a war, the elect is gonna win um this war. Last scripture I want to share before um. I finish it off, man, is in a uh, book of Revelation, uh, so chapter 3, 
I think uh, 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out. So the Lord don't want somebody um, that is in between lukewarm, you know, uh, you know, is, is a kind of um, being decisive, you know what I'm saying? You're not really hot, you're not really cold, you know, you're in between, you know what I'm saying? Like a meal, you want it hot and not, you know, partially cold and partially hot. So, you know, we must be on fire for this truth and also being on hot. Being hot, you know what I mean, is being in line or in tune with what the most I want, you know what I mean, and fervent in that, you know, pretty much, you know, stiff neck or hard headed, <laughs> you know what I mean, um, you know, for what the most I want, um, and endure until the end with that, um, decision. And not wish you wash your guessing, you know, nah, may I go over there and oh, may I go over here, you know what I'm saying? So, we need to be hot, man, uh. This is a, a war, and only the elect is going to win uh, through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I, I love willing, we are numbered amongst the, the elect. I'm going to finish up the video. Government might be in lock and step with it, so where do you fit in all this? You're in the helix. We're all in the helix. And that has to do with, of course, as you guys can see behind that, the robotic handshake and the human hand, the whole transhumanism, the merger of man with the demonic forces you know this is where this stuff is heading so i just wanted to take a quick minute share my two cents on this and just and just put these visuals before you let you know no matter what you are the dog in the fight so there's no avoiding it now you can run from it, you can hide but what and all from these pictures here we're all on the same world at this current moment so you're going to have to deal with some things you're going to have to give account to some things you're going to have to answer some things that's just how it goes so my my advice and my recommendation would be stop running from the fight acknowledge the fight decipher between good and evil at the bare minimum and then moving forward you can further through discernment and through spiritual enlightenment be able to determine the best pathway for yourself but you're going to have to fight if it's not for you it's going to be for your children it's going to be for your nephews your aunties your uncles because the time is coming where we will have to resist our right publicly speaking there'll be nowhere to hide and for those who choose to try to opt out oh it's all it's automatically done you're on the far left side of this equation you're 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 already going to be given over to the dark side so anyway just wanted to share my two thoughts let's get rid of religion let's just focus on good and evil for now and as of right now according to all the things that are at play you're already in the fight so strap up and let's get ready to grind. Anyway, just thought I was there. I'll share my thoughts. Where did I miss it? Give me your thoughts down below. Of course, take this information and share it just because this is something that a lot of people are not able to talk. All right, I'm going to end it there. Now, he said, um, you know, we at, you know, we're supposed to take it public, you know, pretty much, um, you know, protest and all this other stuff. We, we, we don't have to do that, man. Um, all we have to do, you know, you know, we cry, we mourn, and we groan before you have a bashim, you have a shy. We complain to him daily about the conditions and situation in this place. And we also do what he says that we need to do, right? We obey his laws, commandments, and statutes. I keep saying that. Obey his laws, commandments, and statutes, right? Do the work. Um, if it is your lot to do so, pray, you know, fast and try to keep your garment as white as possible. So, that's how to correct him on that. Um, we shouldn't be protesting. All right, so Lord willing, you were edified. Again, it's coming down to the wire. All right, we are living in those times. The signs are here. All right, shalom.